Hello, Maurice Dimba here. Welcome to this presentation. Today, I'm going to briefly take you through on how to generate a single part drawing from a 3D model. It's quite simple. Here we have our truss, but we want to pick one part of, the, of this truss into our drawing. Okay, we'll go ahead and click that. Once you've picked the part you want to uh, document or put to any size of a paper, just just click on that. Come to create drawing. Create si uh, click single part. You can actually see one drawing has been created. Go to drawing list. We go back. Double click on that. You'll actually see that this is what has been presented to you. If this is what you want, and maybe you want to present it elsewhere and give some explanation why you use this member, this is right. You can go ahead and uh, modify your dimension or uh, customize by just uh, double clicking on that. Go to under dimension properties go to general dimension types you can change we have option one two three four and five and probably six you can choose whichever you want close that we can change this no D double click on the bolt change that same to this that won't be will be unprofessional now you can change the text type going to appearance change change the text we romance that apply change the color there you are change the color of the bolts too. Go to appearance, change to black. Double click on that. Appearance, change that to black. Change font to maybe romance. Like that. You can change whichever color you like. change that by double clicking on that appearance change that to romance d change the color all the way to, the, to this end exact solid we can delete that we can change that go to appearance change that to black change that to romance D K black arrow sizes are, are changeable here 1 and 2 you can change the height you can change the length modify apply ok we don't want that We'll give it, we'll name it properly. Now on here, you can click on this member, right click, add part mark, click part mark, double click on that. This part mark properties dialog box will come up. We have the content here, we have what you require that you use you will be able to pick from this end and bring the uh, to this end that you will need in your drawing now like this this one size i don't want it i'll remove it part position i don't need it i'll remove it now i'll come to contents that i would like to use in my drawing now i want the profile name 
the profile name of this of this member i'll click profile and bring it and add it this end at the moment i just need the profile name of this member i'll click on profile modify click apply okay this is the profile name of this i can further click on it uh, double click on it and change those colors modify click on profile change the, that color to black change even text to maybe three change text or i mean font to romans roman d apply okay that's changed you can go to general i don't need this this cover this bracket surrounding my text i'll go to frame and uh, frame around mark on that drop down arrow I have variety of these to check for to 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 pick from i don't need that frame i'll click one two three and framed click that apply double click again that apply it has changed and probably you don't want this text to align itself with the with this member you can still go ahead and, and double click on it go to general go to leader line select whichever you want you can either pick that and click modify apply okay then click on that and drag place it elsewhere but our arrow is not pointing go ahead and double click on it go to general come here on arrow on arrow select the type of arrow you want you can pick that modify apply okay there you are yes you can change the color of these bolts that modify apply okay there you are that's all for this presentation and thanks for watching